the boost knob nfl studio the secret sauce to every legendary trap producer of all time the reason why most producers feel that they just can't leave fl studio because other dogs simply don't have a boost knob but what if i told you that fl studio had been lying to you what if i told you that in an effort to make fl studio the most user-friendly DAW known to man they've been holding you back from understanding basic audio concepts by mislabeling terms in your DAW? what if i told you that the boost knob wasn't a boost knob at all What's up, everybody? It's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com. Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials. Pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. Also, please don't forget to check out our new course sample class, Studio12Tutorials forward slash sample class. Take yourself from chord to composition to cash. If you've ever wanted to be a sample maker, a brand onto yourself, and not have to worry about sending loops to someone else to get signed, go directly to the consumer, start your business and your career two-day sample class now let's get straight to it the boost knob is the amp knob or amplitude knob found on literally every other sampler that's it that's the video thanks for coming out we're done nah but here is the fl studio manual the channel rack section you can see right there it says amplitude level control not drum sauce not secret sound just boring old amplitude control now watch what happens when i crank the amp knob in studio one and the boost knob in fl studio see it's the exact same sound there is zero difference now if that's good enough for you thanks for watching if you want to understand what's been happening here it's very simple right using the boost knob or the amp knob on a sample before it hits the mixer in your DAW allows the user to hit the fader at a volume that is above 0 dBFS which is just you're digitally clipping your mixer that's all that's happening now while this is generally frowned upon for many logical reasons the FL community has used this method along with adding FL soft clipper on the master fader of projects to achieve a particular sound when it comes to instrumental mixes now when it comes to major releases and this is very important for you guys to understand when it comes to major releases those are typically not mixed by the producers they're put into pro tools they're gain staged and they're processed in a traditional manner but on youtube and soundcloud soft clip maxed out sound that that reigns supreme right so if you're looking to achieve that sound in studio one or in any other DAW, it's very simple you take the amp or the boost knob as they call it in fl studio on your sampler and you turn it all the way up until your channel fader goes into the red then on your master channel you just need to add a soft clipper a third party soft clipper if your daw doesn't have one most daws have it the uh, studio one limiter has a soft clipper um, i believe like the glue compressor on ableton live has a soft clip mode so you can do that or my favorite option for getting this to be honest is the d16 um free uh, limiter slash soft clipper it's called frontier d16 group frontier um and you just turn the limiter function off you turn the soft clipper up and you just you just drive through that and you'll get the same exact sound right so with that i'd like to tell you guys to keep it simple and don't be basic and we will see you on the next one